He has well over 400 head of bison up there, plus many more of the Texas Longhorn. Hey guys, Cole here from Cross Timbers Bison filling in for Dusty today. And we are not in Oklahoma. We are actually in Lampy, Missouri at Dogwood Canyon. And they've got about 2,000 acres of pretty cool park here with some uh, water mills and some waterfalls and canyons, lots of cool stuff. They've even got some elk, some Texas longhorns, and yes, a large bison herd. So Jimmy Morris, owner of Bass Pro Shop, set up this place about 20 years ago come check it out with us you guys are going to enjoy it they've even got a little surprise of a white buffalo so stay tuned really cool sound i still get these crazy goosebumps every time i hear i love it oh like he's trying maybe he's hoarse <laughs> Golden rainbow trout wouldn't make it in nature because of their whitish appearance. They definitely get picked off easily during the winter time when it's very hard to find food. Texas longhorn, but I don't like the mess of Hercules, man. Seeing the whites of his eyes is pretty crazy. He's doing a really good stretch for us today. Little ear scratch going on. The left that stood up for me, we call him Repeat. And the one right in the middle, his name is George Strait. George actually gets his name because his horns are longer and straighter than the other two. They're actually six feet across from tip to tip. They are some beautiful animals, aren't they? These three are all steers. And just to give you a little history on the Texas Longhorn, they were originally Spanish cattle. Christopher Columbus brought them over to the New World. And when he did, he originally dropped them off in Costa Rica. He left them there for a little while and, and they were crazy sought after because these animals had this ability to be taken way up north and way down south. And in all that temperate range, they seemed to be able to do okay all by their, themselves. They could find their own grass, find their own watering holes, even their females seem to birth on their own without extra help. So when they did bring them over from Costa Rica into the mainland US, they actually bred them with larger cattle that grew them 30% in size to what you see today. They are some big boys. That's why I'm always trying to get a stand up on them. So we just get an idea. Oh, there we get to see George with those long horns. He actually won some contest for uh, um, a picture contest. And the picture was like him standing kind of sideways and he had his horns turned so you could see his body plus I don't like the mess of Hercules, man. Oh, Seeing the whites of his eyes is pretty crazy. Him and Ninja have actually been knocking each other around. Um, you won't be able to see until maybe we get a stand up for one of these guys. People checking out elk the first time they get to see them might assume that their anatomy is a lot like that of a deer, but it's actually closer to that of cattle. That's why we call them bull and cow elk. They actually reach down, eat this grass, then they take that down into one stomach, and eventually they'll pop that back up into their mouth and do something called chewing the cud, where they reach you up all of that grass. You can see him doing that now. Oh, he stopped for a second. That's what they're doing. If you ever see them just chewing, but not reaching down, they've already popped some of that back up and they're re-chewing it. Yeah, he is definitely very beautiful. I might try that trick on everybody else, but I'm not that stupid. But they are very beautiful. We even have a little baby here in front. Dakota actually won a couple Guinness Book World Records. He won the record for uh, the most tweeted photo and for the most liked post on Facebook. 
He has well over 400 head of bison up there, plus many more of the Texas Longhorn. Up there he has bulls and cows, heifers, and even baby longhorn. As I peel around the back, I'm going to give a pause because I definitely want to give y'all a good picture of Ninja. He is a big boy. These animals are about 1,400 to 2,000 pounds. Uh, but he bought one that went here, and the other guy actually went up to his nature golf course, which actually brings me to a very important fact. These guys, the, I gotta stop saying these guys. Uh, the bison are crazy uh, athletic. They can run 35 to 40 miles an hour faster than a horse, and at a full run, they can actually jump five to six feet up in the air. Mr. Morris found this out the hard way because he put five or six foot fences out there so they could eat the tall grass in the back of his nature golf course. But they had hopped that fence and he found them over eating the sweet grass in at the golf course. So now he has taller fences. <laughs> They've only been growing since March and they actually haven't grown at all in two and a half months. It's the fastest growing bone of any land mammal that grows at a speed of two inches a week at its fastest growing point. This is a very small one. You see my fingers very easily reach around it. We have some in the back of our vehicles that I can't get my hands around. Under the velveteen, they have this stuff that goes over them that looks a lot like their fur and it's a second skin. And that helps them grow this quickly. It stretches as their antlers grow and allows them to put all those nutrients right into this. They're made of pure calcium. It's just barely smaller than Hercules. In fact, if you see him standing sometimes, it looks like Ninja's bigger, but he's just younger, that's all. The difference between the two animals is really only about 70 to 100 pounds. As we're coming around and checking out the cow herd, you might see some of these younger males here over on the left. There's four of them. They have the spikes on their head. Those spikes are what you'll see on a one-year-old. Their first year, that's all they grow, and then they'll fall off. They're part of the cow herd, along with these other ones you see right above them that have just very minuscule antlers. They're about one and a half to two year olds. They're very confused at the rut season right now because they're used to being part of this cow herd. But as soon as Junior walks out of there and they're back to being normal, most likely all of that group will go back into the cow herd. I can't see in an angle from here. Is there any undulating under him? Well, a lot of times he does both at the same time. So he's gonna bugle while he's spraying all over himself. 